welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. I have my mom here with me today, and we actually are in Cambridge, which is about a half hour or so away for a couple of reasons. Um, number one, I have been craving Ruby Tuesday, which if you guys know, I love Ruby Tuesday so much. We decided to go there for lunch. Really good. I had a coupon for buy one meal, get one for $4. So that was good. We ended up getting the lovely salad bar, which was amazing. They're pumpernickel croutons. Oh my gosh. So, so, so good. Like had two salads and then I literally did end up eating just like a plate of croutons and we split those. So it was really good though. Love Ruby Tuesday so much. So we went there and then want to go get a smoothie. They have a really good smoothie place called Pulp and I love their smoothies. So we're going to get a smoothie. And then my mom and I both wanted to check out, they have a new store that's opened up here, which we don't get new stores in our area rarely. So whenever there's a new store, it's pretty exciting. So there's a new store that opened up here called Bell's, Bell's Outlet, I think is what it's called. Bell's is like a store. It's really big in Florida. So I'm not sure why they ended up coming up with a store in Ohio, but they did. So um, sounds really interesting. It's kind of like a TJ Maxx kind of deal, I guess. So going to check that out. And I just have a couple of other stores right here in the vicinity. Like they have a Marshall's, they have a Dollar Tree across the streets in Walmart. So just going to like make a day out of it. We decided to come up and check out Bell's and just like do some other stuff that Cambridge has as well. So yeah, pretty exciting. So um, that's what we're going to do. So now we are going to head on into Dollar Tree and just like shop at a couple of places around here and just take you guys along for the ride. So let's do it. So all the Dollar Trees are becoming Dollar Tree Plus. And honestly, I don't know how to feel about that. Like when you come to Dollar Tree, the fun of it is that everything's a dollar. Well, now a dollar 25. It was more fun at a dollar, but a dollar 25. But now they have three dollar and five dollar items. Just seems kind of weird for Dollar Tree. All right, so the main reason I wanted to come to Dollar Tree is because a rebate popped up for $4 back on two Colgate toothpaste. And normally it always works on these, but it must be excluded this time because they are not working. Boo. Major bummers. That would have been a really nice money maker. So then I'm going to leave the Dollar Tree empty handed. Oh my gosh, though, guys, this Dollar Tree has self checkouts. I have never seen a Dollar Tree with a self checkout, let alone two self checkouts. Like my introverted self loves the idea of having a self-checkout at Dollar Tree. So I wish they would make that happen at all the Dollar Trees. Let me know in the comments, do you guys have self-checkouts at your Dollar Tree? But um, next up, I think we're gonna go to Marshalls and Bells are right next to each other. I think we're gonna check out Bells because it's the newest thing here. So we're gonna go to Bells and see what it's all about because I've never been. So let's go to Bells. Is it Bells or is it Beals? I just heard somebody say Beals. So maybe I've been saying it wrong this whole time. All you Floridians are probably sitting there like, Nick, it's not Bells, it's Beals. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. All right, so we're in Bells. And honestly, I'm getting such TJ Maxx vibes from this place. It really does remind me of like a Gabe's, a Ross, TJ Maxx, that kind of vibe. It's pretty big though. It's like a pretty big place. So it's like kind of spread out. Not everything's all piled on top of each other. Um, but you definitely do have to like look through racks of stuff to kind of find the really good deals. I will say some of their things are quite pricey, but I guess a lot of it's like name brands. So that's kind of why it would be so pricey. Um, but there are definitely some good deals for sure, for sure. So you just have to kind of like look through. It's one of those kind of stores you gotta look through and sift through everything and see what's a good deal and what's not. My grandma would love this picture. <laughs> We wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh yes, I love all the Christmas stuff. Guys, I want some new pillows for Christmas, like a nice memory foam pillow. And it's been such a struggle to find a really, really nice one. Like I don't just want any old pillow. It's gotta meet my specific standards. And I found these and they're a great deal and they're really nice, but they're the stupid contour memory foam. Like if it just didn't have the contour, like that weird little elevation, I'd be so happy, but ugh because otherwise it's exactly what i want but the contour thing completely throws it off but if you guys don't care about a contour pillow and you have one of these stores it's a really good deal it's only like 16.99 is that what it is that's pretty good for these because at like walmart they're 29 ish dollars for the cheapest memory foam pillow so that would have been a really good deal the only problem with these discount stores is you find something you love but then they don't have it in the size that you need Boo, because guys, I love this so much. And it's only $9.99. I did find a couple of things. So you guys know the struggle with me and my car mounts. My other one broke. So I'm getting one here for $5.99. 
And then for Christmas, my mom's gonna get me these, um, these really nice Aeropostale joggers. They're only $12.99, regularly $57.50 or something at Aeropostale, which I believe Aeropostale is so expensive anytime I'm in one anymore. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about these things though. All right, guys, I think I'm driving my mom crazy because I keep refilming this intro, just trying to get it like perfect. But um, done at that little like strip mall. So we went to Bell's and we went to Marshall's. We didn't know anything at Marshall's. We bought enough at Bell's. Um, but yeah, uh, what are our thoughts on Bell's? I liked it. Um, I think it's a cool store. I will say it's a lot like a TJ Maxx, but it's like bigger, but yeah. they don't have as much stuff. Yeah, so it's like, there's a lot of like open space was, where there's yeah. just like nothing. Um, which could be good and bad. If you're not in the mood to sift through a bunch of stuff, then there you go. But, you know, kind of like when you walk into a Marshalls or TJ Maxx, there's just so much that it looks more full and Bell's definitely didn't yeah. look full. But cool thing is they did give us 10% off today on Monday just for being a rewards member. So we just like put our phone number in to get rewards. Mm -hmm. And I think she said every Monday. That's what I thought she Every said Monday, 10% off. And the people ahead of us got it too. So that was really, really nice. So we got our stuff for even cheaper. Got this car mount. This is only five fifty nine. It's actually working pretty it good. Work Took well. a few minutes to get it figured out because we were trying to put it up on the windshield and we didn't peel back the, uh, the plastic. Yeah. So it was like kept falling down. That was real smart. But um, yeah, so I would like it if I lived here, like Marshall's and Bell's are right next to each other. So you could literally compare yeah. the prices. And the things we did compare the prices on, like my mom was looking at, she got some like bath rugs at Bell's and she was looking at them at Marshall's, same price, but at Bell's you got the rewards yeah. for 10% so off. It was better to get so it, it was better to get it at Bell's for almost $2 cheaper. So that was really, really nice. Um, and it is called Bell's. That's what the cashier said. So I guess it's, or the cashier's mistake. And if you guys are saying, no, it's Beals. So I don't know, but um, yeah, pretty nice. So now we are here at Pulp, which is a smoothie place. That's what I love about Cambridge. It's a small town, really. There's not a whole lot going on, but they do have some good food. So they have Pulp smoothies. They got a Ruby Tuesday. Now they have Bells. Did I say, I don't think I told you guys though. Um, the cashier said that they are getting a Bells yeah. in my town next year. So we won't technically have to come to Cambridge just for Bells anymore, but I'm still going to come for Ruby Tuesday and some of these, so <laughs> I'll stop by their bells. But yeah, I'm going to do that. going to go here to Pulp and then going to go to Walmart across the street just because I'm weird and like to check out everybody's different Walmarts because you just never know what they'll have. So anyways, let's go to Pulp. Literal perfection. Guys, the smoothie is the best strawberry banana smoothie you'll ever have in your life. If you have a Pulp, go to Pulp. It is so good. You guys know my first stop at Walmart. Clearance. For sure. For sure. Most of their clearance is pretty expensive though, so I'm not getting anything. These are too cool. These like retro radios, you turn them on, they play like old Christmas music, which I think is just like so, so cool. Cause I'll admit, I love the old Christmas music. So yeah, it's like really, really neat. I don't know if this is true or not, but one of the workers told my mom, if you really like it, you need to get it because they're not gonna like be restocking most of the decorations, which I thought was really weird, but that's what they said. I don't know if that was like a sales tactic to get her to buy decorations today. It worked. <laughs> she found the little deer that she likes. Um, well, I, mean, I don't know if it's true or not. So that's interesting. Yeah. There's only three something, so that's not too bad. But uh, I'm hoping that's not true because I like to get my stuff on clearance. So yeah. Is there a pillow shortage or what? Like why are there so many empty spots where there aren't pillows? It's like really, really weird. You guys totally know I had to look at the stationary products, right? Because I'm a stationary addict and yeah, but um, still have to come and look at everything because that's just what I do. And they got a couple of new things here that caught my eyes. They have this Disney planner, which is pretty cool. And they have like different tabs. So it'll open up to the new section, like by tab or whatever, which is just like really cool. And then they have like a monthly calendar and then they have like spreads for the week which that could be interesting if you're like a Disney person. That could be a really good Christmas gift, actually. And it's undated, so they can start whenever they want. So that's really cool. It's 12 something, 12.98. Really good for someone who loves Disney. And then Walmart, what are you guys trying to do with this? They keep coming out with cool pin plus gear stuff. Like I've been loving all of the Walmart pin, pin plus gear products. It's hard to say, but um, they have like this daily planners like a 12, is it 12 count? Yeah, 12 different daily planners, so like per month, but it's undated, you can start whenever, it has like daily layouts. They're awfully tiny though, but you can fit them in your pocket. Like guys, this is really, really, really neat. 
Guys, I think I might have found my 2024 planner and it's only $6.98. Like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. So the only sad thing is like, I would love to start using it now, but it doesn't start until January. But look at this, literally $6.98. And it has, it opens up with like a year to glance, if I can like get it to turn. This is hard with one hand. It's so like year to glance and then it goes into notes and then you have it like for each month. So it has this like dashboard so you can put like birthdays, goals, notes, things like that. And then it goes to a monthly calendar so i can like plan out stuff by the month and then it goes into these daily ones it has a habit tracker which i love because i like to do habit tracking it's really hard to find a planner that does that and then it comes with like a little note space you can like seriously like write in all this stuff and it goes through the entire year which oh my gosh it has a notes page at the end of each month i i kind of like love this I'm not even gonna lie this is really nice I love how today is basically been a day where mom just buys me a Christmas present <laughs> because I say, oh, I like this. And she's like, well, do you want it for Christmas? I mean, I guess it makes it easier, yeah, like come December sad, or whatever yeah, it I is. make sure you get what you want. Yeah. I can't pick out a planner for you. I'm very, very, very strict. I'm surprised that one even meets my standards. You can't pick out a pillow or planners yeah. for me because I'm just like, I'm weird. I'm so weird, but I want it to be like a certain way and that's how I want it. So, but I, yeah, I love that. It's really nice. Also, my mom's gonna get me this shirt. It says, please do not disturb. I'm disturbed enough already. <laughs> I thought that was just hilarious. So we're gonna get this. All right, guys, we are going to head on home now. And I'm just gonna do like a little montage of the drive home so you guys can like see some of the scenery all sped up and all that fun stuff um, from Cambridge to Zanesville. So let's do it. chicken pot pie one of my subscribers debbie commented on a vlogtober a couple days ago how she's been eating pot pie and ever since then i've just been really wanting pot pie so made a pot pie bubble up so for this recipe you're gonna need some peas and carrots you could also use corn if you want had some green beans that i put in there as well also got two cans of cream of chicken soup that we went ahead and put into this. Also, you will need chicken. If you did this with turkey, you could do like a turkey pot pie as well. Um, we just used shredded chicken that we had in the freezer. Also went ahead and used two cups of milk. You could use almond milk or regular milk, whatever. Um, also used a can of jumbo biscuits. There were five in there. Used garlic powder, salt, and pepper, as well as a tablespoon of butter. So that is the ingredients you're gonna need for this recipe. So started out here by just making the biscuits, putting them in the oven for about eight minutes or so and baking those. Then you are going to do the vegetables. So I got a tablespoon of butter and you know melted that on the skillet and then added in peas and carrots and green beans and just cooked those for about the same time as the biscuits. Now after they were done, I put those in a large bowl and I mixed it with two cans of the cream of chicken soup as well as my two cups of milk. And then to that, I also added in the chicken as well as my spices. So you went ahead and added all those things in and mix them together all nice and thoroughly to make sure all the like juices get distributed 
through the recipe. So mix and mix and mix and mix until you get it there. Went on ahead and dumped that into the pie pan and to that I added the biscuits. I cut them each in half. But I actually only needed four total biscuits, so eight like halves if that makes sense. And we baked that in the oven for about 15-20 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. Guys, it turned out absolutely, absolutely amazing. But I hope you guys enjoyed following us along for the day. Going to Cambridge, going to Bells. Do you guys have a Bells? I'd be curious if you have a Bells. What do you think of it? Do you really like it? Are you like not so crazy about it? Um, I liked it for sure. It was a lot of fun to go and check out a new store because really you don't hear about too many new stores opening up. More so it's about stores going out of business. So exciting to see a new store open up that people can shop at and things. And I'm really excited for when they come to my town since they're saying next year they're going to be coming to my town. So that'll be great. But um, yeah, guys, I hope you all did enjoy this vlog and thank you so, so much for watching.